Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Starting off with a lot of red, we'll tell you that. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement and create a new one and use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 376. We got the NASDAQ off uh, 399, S&P's off 94, gold contract down $27.30, trading out of the price point of 18.55 an ounce. We have silver down 60 cents, 21 dollars. 80 cents an ounce, light sweet crew down $6.91, $102.84 a barrel. The, the Saudis did over the weekend. They're selling uh, contract uh, oil $4 down, which got it down $8 pretty quickly. Notes and bonds. Note, the 10 note and bond market, the 10 years up 16 ticks, trading 118.09, the 30 up 27 at 137.05, and King Dollar. King Dollar's down 72 ticks, trading out here at 103.588. Year is at 105, the yen is at 130.29, the British pound is at 123 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is that you get a lower market, you get a total change of trend, that's for sure, and total change of attitude, I mean, in a monster way, too. Um, so bottom line, you're coming down, you're coming down with volume. You've hit 399 today. Your one-to-one -one ABC structure down is 394. So that was, that's five points lower. That's six points lower than we are right now. So we'll see how that shakes out getting down into those levels. We go look at the NDX 100, the three Qs has a lot further to go. We're at 290, well, no, not enough, yeah, 18 points. We're at 299, that ABC structure is 281. Uh, and we bring this back. Let's bring this back so you can see where we're talking about here. So if we hit the 281s, you're going to see that, and this is where I think the, the NASDAQ looks to me like it's going to get extended down here to the 260s. And the reason I'm saying that is that we, we traded four months, and this was volatility was unbelievable, actually. Um, you know, that was from last August, September, October, November. We went sideways. But the spread was incredible, man. The spread you know, going sideways then was like a f 36 to 40 points. So it looks like we're going to dig right into that. If we dig into it, you get to the you know, bottom of it. And the bottom of it is 260. That's, that's how that baby's set up. So it's pretty intense. There's no doubt about it. Gold. Gold contract. It has lighter volume today, but just slightly because you're at 186,000 contracts. And what you have here is that when... You are coming into, you know, the swing that we're coming into is uh, 1849. We hit 1853. It's not catching a bid, man. That's telling me that this thing is going to break it. And it's going to be all about, no doubt, uh, can that U.S. dollar decide to basically take off? Because what we have here is this. I'm going to bring this dollar up for you so you can see it for a second. We're at 103,587. Now, if we take this. And we put this back 25 years because I started the gold report, folks. Gold was at $282. Well, I got it at $282.50 to be exact. I think I bottomed out at $250. We started the gold report going all the way back in 2000. That's when the dollar was $121. If we break this area, you know, we haven't, we haven't been able to handle this area. But the, when I say handle it, you know, you're hanging around the same numbers, meaning the numbers of about 103,820, 103,850. You'd have to get about two points away from it. You get two points away from it, and guess what, man? You're going to be at 121. So we'll see if that's how it's, this thing is going to shake out. But that is game. Now, I want to talk about something here. Let's go over. I want you to go over to our website and hit the direction banner. The reason being, if you, if you like trading leveraged or inverse ETFs, folks, okay? This is the last day. I wish I saw this a little bit earlier. This, this came out, this only came out May 2nd. And what it is, is that FINRA, okay, which is the regulatory body of uh, the NASDAQ, um, come out 
uh, and they're looking for comments from investors and they're looking to basically change some of the leverage and in inverse ETFs as well as other complex products. Now, I don't know what the other complex products are. I can tell you this, though. Uh, if you've traded these products, these are good products as long as you know how to trade them. Uh, I can also tell you that the, the, the largest player in this market, and I suspect more than likely that company's behind it, which is, which is Blackstone and Black, Blackrock, rather, um, can't stand them. Larry Fink can't stand these things. And I don't know, quite know why he can't stand them, because guess what? <laughs> anyway, get the gist of it. The bottom line is that some of the established players, and he's being one of the biggest players, cannot stand them. And I don't know if it's just because you can't basically, when you can sell the S&P, because they, I mean, they, they own them all. But anyway, make a long story short. Come over to our website at TFNN. This is the last day you can make a comment and just submit a comment. If you, if you like trading these things, just tell them you like trading them, man. Um, I suspect the way this is written, it looks like they, they won't be able to stop them, but they very well may do what they did with day trading years ago. And that what that was, I think, I don't know if it's still like that or not, is that you always had to have 50000 in your account in order to trade it. So I, I don't quite know what they're going to do, but if you do trade them and you like them, get over there and comment because... Just like anything else, comments matter, your votes matter, and if you don't think they do, just wait a few more weeks because there's not enough comments out there. If you happen to, whether you're hedging or you like whatever you like doing, uh, you may not have it. Dow Industrials right now trading uh, down at 352. You get the NASDAQ off 405. S&Ps are off 90, uh, 94. Now, when we come back, I'm gonna, we're going to take a look at the um, E-mini futures uh, and try to figure out coming into this close where we're, where we're going. Because what we've had is this, is that the last leg down, okay, you know, and that's when I'm in, John from Philly called, because my Tommy and me were doing Dave's show, we split it up. Uh, what you had there is that the last low just didn't have the volume. And then we did get volume 10 minutes ago. Uh, it looks like it's testing it, this volume spike too quick though. Because if it <laughs> tests this high too quick, man, it's uh, energy will give up once again. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.